Hey, and welcome to Polar Club. In this video, I will tell you a little bit about heart rate training and how to utilize heart rate tracking in coaching. Let's talk about heart rate first. Heart rate means number of heartbeats in a minute. It is very individual and works as a reliable indicator of your effort level. Heart rate tracking is therefore a great tool for evaluating your workout intensity levels and the accumulated load. It helps you see how hard your body is working during your sessions in real time, and it gives you data on the intensity of your session afterwards. Heart rate is affected by a number of internal and external factors such as lifestyle, the participants' present circumstances for working out such as hydration, nutrition, energy levels, and personal factors like age, gender, and fitness level. By tracking your heart rate, you know how hard your body is working and you can easily regulate the intensity level of your workouts. Heart rate tracking takes out the guesswork and gives your training an extra boost. From an instructor's point of view, tracking heart rate is an amazing tool for getting useful information of how your class participants are training so that you can coach them better. With heart rate tracking, you can guide your participants to find the right intensity level for each of their workouts according to their goals. Let's go over some of the basic heart rate training terminology. A training heart rate can be expressed in beats per minute or as a percentage of an individual's maximum heart rate. Maximum heart rate describes the highest possible heart rate a person can achieve under physical exertion. Reaching your personal maximum heart rate in your workout means that your heart is working at its maximum capacity. The most common formula used to estimate maximum heart rate is to subtract your age from 220. This formula holds true for a large part of the population. On an individual level, however, the formula may be off by dozens of beats, which is why if you want to know your exact maximum heart rate, you should test it in an actual training situation or by doing a fitness test. It's important to know that getting the most out of your training doesn't always mean working as fast or as hard as you can. The best way to improve cardio fitness and to see results is to train at the right intensity. Different intensity levels, or zones as we at Polar call them, have different training benefits. So it's good to train on several heart rate intensities. By using Polar heart rate zones, you as an instructor can coach your members better, motivate them more, and give them different goals to reach in your class. Let's have a closer look at the Polar intensity zones. In the Polar Club training view, every class participant has their own information tile. The most important things to explain during a Polar Club class are the intensity zones, which correlate directly with how hard the activity feels. Intensity zones represent the percent of your maximum heart rate, so intensity also tells you how hard your heart is working. Gray zone equates to 50 to 60% of estimated maximum heart rate. Working out on the gray zone improves your overall health and helps you recover from more demanding training. It feels very easy and it feels like you could go on for hours and hours. Time spent in the blue zone develops general endurance and your body's ability to burn fat. Training here still feels comfortable, but it requires a little more effort than the gray zone. Blue zone translates to 60 to 70% of your maximum heart rate. Green zone improves your aerobic fitness. Lactate starts to build up in your bloodstream, but it doesn't yet affect your performance. You're working at 70 to 80% of your maximum heart rate, which means you're breathing deeper and you feel a moderate effort. Reaching the yellow zone requires an effort that is 80 to 90% of your maximum heart rate. Working on this zone increases your performance capacity. Your body also gets better at using carbohydrates as a source of energy. Efforts in the yellow zone improve your body's ability to withstand higher levels of lactate in your blood. Staying here isn't easy though. You feel fatigue in your muscles and you breathe heavy. When you as an instructor plan the workout, think of the yellow zones as a zone best suited for intervals no more than 10 minutes in duration. Red zone puts you at 90 to 100% of your maximum heart rate and improves maximum performance. While here you build up a lot of lactate, which means you're not gonna be able to stay in the red zone for very long. Breathing is very heavy, your muscles are exhausted. In your workout plan, aim for the class to spend no longer than a minute or two at a time in the red. With the help of intensity zones, you can easily create phased workouts, which give the participants information about the class, both before the class, as well as in the live view during the workout. Now you know the basics of heart rate-based training and can utilize it in your coaching. 
If you want more information about heart rate training, please visit our website at polar.com.